My name is Peter Fitch and I am a graduate with a BA in Environmental Studies. I will be talking with Kurt Ward who is working to create a advanced combustion technology that increases fuel efficiency, produces zero emissions, and can run on any fuel type. So my name is Kurt Ward. I'm president of Zajac Motors. And what Zajac Motors has done is developed a really cool advanced combustion technology that does three big things. One, it'll improve gas mileage significantly, like in a gasoline engine, about 50% increase in gas mileage. It'll eliminate all currently regulated emissions. And what's really cool is on the fly, don't tell it. Change the fuel to anything you want, any liquid or gas fuel. The guy who invented it, which is John Zajac, he's been thinking about this for about 30 years. And the problem is, is I mean, other people thought about it as well, but what it was was a confluence of technology, materials, and controls. So it kind of had to wait its gestation period to kind of get there. There's limitations with the current internal combustion system. He overcame those limitations and was able to create a new system that totally overcomes those and makes internal combustion work. We don't make the engines, we make engines greener. We've been doing this for a long time, guys. We know everything, we've seen everything. And so, you know, we spent billions of dollars that can't work. We've run into that in a big way with some companies. Not all, but some. So from a military perspective, you could have the controls on a tank set incoming. It, it would give a warning for people to brace, right? Activate, and at the last minute, they could jump out of the way of an incoming missile. A trucker can just hit it, have enough sustained increase in boost power, to get up, get past him, and get on. And he didn't really burn a lot a lot more fuel. That's called the ZAJAC Integrated Pneumatic. Our acronym for that is ZIP, as opposed to the ZAJAC Total Combustion, which is ZAJAC, our acronym for that is ZAJAC TC. When you invent something, you don't know what you don't know until you get there. And so it takes a certain mindset to be able to, you know, walk into a world that nobody's walked in and kind of slowly figure it out. Not slowly, but effectively. The biggest disappointment came on the valves. Like, oh, well, now we know the temperature, those valves won't work. But turned around, looked at the problem from an engineering standpoint in terms of what the functions are, what had to happen, and applied that and came up with a whole new set of, of valve technology. It's a matter of being able to understand what the problem is and sit down and think through it and see if you can come up with a solution that's cost effective and doesn't violate the laws of physics. And John's really good at that. It used to be everybody was of the opinion early on, yeah, I can't schedule innovation. That's not true. You can what you can't do is you can't say, I will have something, a new thing developed by such and such a time. What you can do is say, I will have an idea of how much longer it'll take once I achieve these particular development milestones. If you've got a plan, people want to help you because you're better organized, you know where you're going, and there's a chance you'll be more successful. First of all, get whoever the potential customer is, to say, you know what, if you make that, I want it. And more importantly, you know what, I'll help you do that. So you're actually developing to a customer specification. Spend your money, spend your time to get third-party validation as you develop the idea, because the idea may change as you get that customer input. Once somebody has put it in the field and it's running, that becomes the trusted.